Yeah, this is Black Light. Let me tell you, you know, I hear brothers talking kind of crazy. We don't know the purpose that we're here. We just think that we're here for random reasons. I had a title called Mental Expansions. In the Bible, God say, be fruitful and multiply. He also told uh, Adam and Eve that if you don't follow my commandments, he told them, well, if you don't eat off that, if, if, if you go to that tree, stay away from that tree, the minute you... Uh, bite into that tree or the fruits of that tree you will be you will die he didn't mean physically and then again he did mean physically but he was talking about mentally not because they they bit of the tree it's because they disobeyed his orders they put some they put the serpent as a God before uh, God or before Allah. When you put that, that serpent before Allah, you listen to the serpent and you don't listen to Allah. Just like what's happening here in America, we take the serpent, which we're going to call the Caucasian, we take his word over God's word. That's the first com commandment is to obey God. Now understand that. Now, another thing you got to understand is that the unseen You were first, me and you, we were first unseen. And then we appeared into this stage of reality. We manifested ourselves. First, we were seeds. Even before we were seeds, we were something else. I can't call it right now because we go through stage after stage until we develop into a certain stage of perfection. Everything that's around us that we see in this reality is a manifestation of what's, what is in, on, the, on the inside or the unseen. Just like a caterpillar making a cocoon and then after a certain turn the caterpillar turns into a butterfly. But first the caterpillar is a worm. Then he grows into a butterfly so beautiful. It's amazing how they look with the colors and all they eating is nectar from a uh, uh, plant, but they got a short life. But that's a sign for us, man, or human beings. First, we we just a uh, thought, then we a seed. Then, once we're planted into the mother, we start evolving. Stage after stage, we're we, we're the, the lowest of the lows, and then we turn 
we, we don't even have a, a brain or a heart. But yet still we are living. Inside. Unseen. Of a very dark place. Then gradually we come out of that place. After nine months. And we become. Humans. With babies and then we start stage after stage until I'm 76 whatever you are but before I turned 76 I had sperm the sperm had life in it now that sperm evolved into a seed I still got sperm, but you know, I, I ain't I ain't conjured up on no babies yet. You know what I'm saying? So that fertile soil, I planted my seed in the fertile soil, and that seed is my nation. So I, 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 each and every one of you. Uh, each and every one of you cats out there, your seed is your nation. Some of you are unfortunate. You can't reproduce a nation. Now that that is something that's personal. But you ain't you ain't operating on all cylinders. You know. Your spark plugs are not firing and you know, all of them ain't firing right, you know, so that's something eternal. But if you do get a seed, whether it be boy or girl, out of that is going to come your nation, which lives forever. Now, your nation can come to a demise. You can demise your nation by the way you think and act. Or your nation could live forever. So we're like, it's enough space. You know, we acting like it ain't enough space in this existence to produce millions and trillions of us. It's enough space. It never ends. And life goes on and on and on. But now you personally. You know you might fall off. But that is your purpose. You know your purpose is to. Reproduce. That's one of your purposes. Another one of your purposes is to cultivate. Another one of your purposes is to civilize the uncivilized. So you have, even you know, you be multitasking all the time. And guys be saying, well, you know, this body don't belong to us. We the one that, that, that made this body. Your mind, with the help of your ancestors, made this body. Yeah. And your ancestor go all the way back to the one. So, all our language has science in it and how we move in this reality and how we move in the unseen reality. So you see that circle. Now that circle, you know, you could call it a zero. Sometimes it stands for nothing. 
But we got that zero in our alphabet too, as well as in the numbers. Right? Now, you put just one next to it. Put it like this. You put just put this one next to it. And you got a 10. So that one, so the zero adds worth to this one. And that's why you get mathematics. So we can do two things. We could what, multiply, add, or we can subtract. But we can do three things. Or we can divide. And then we can subtract. So that's four. That's four things. Add. Subtract. And divide. No, that's three. Because I think uh, multiplication is a... Just a, a form, a newer form of uh, adding. Dividing. It's just a, another way of dividing a whole into fractions. And subtracting is a way of getting rid of something. So, I'm bringing it down to you in a way where you can understand why we're here. And that is to achieve perfection. Now, the reason why the Caucasian is here he's he got twofold me, me reasons why he's here. He's here to strengthen us and he's here to purify us. It's a certain characteristic or a certain nature we got inside of us, a weaker nature that we don't necessarily need. So at this point in time, we was asleep. We are asleep, and but we were we are beginning to wake up. Some of us are beginning to wake up. Now it's our job to school those of you who, who still sleep, you're still drowsy. You're trying to wake up, but you're kind of drowsy. The, the, the secret is the Caucasian love his position of ruling you. He don't want to dissipate. He don't want to give it up. He don't want to go nowhere. So, he wants to detain you from your throne. This is the story of Jesus, Osiris, and all in the Bible. It's the only thing he's talking about. Now, right now, at this present time, you got brothers that want to be the masters, teachers. And some of them, you know, they know what they're talking about, but they feel weak to the Caucasian. This is what is meant by when Jesus was, was uh, had fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, and the devil took him up on the mountain and tried to tempt him, but Jesus didn't bite. You know, he didn't he didn't sell out, but these brothers did. 
Because these brothers knew how to walk on water. You know? Like Jesus. So, uh, who was that that walked on water but lost faith and sunk? Paul, one of them. Anyway, I find out who it was. Uh, that's these brothers. These brothers can walk on water, but at a certain point, they became disloyal. Now, you know, cats back in those old days used to live 900 years old. We dying too early now because we haven't realized who we are, what our mission was. And then we, we get up out of here. And then by the time you realize who you are and what your, what your position is and your reason for being here, you croak. You're gone. But it's your mind that could kill you or keep you here longer. And your stomach and your mind work in conjunction together. So, you know, we, we got, you know, Brother Farrakhan, he's, you know, now you know, brother, Elijah, man, if Elijah was living, he wouldn't have uh, went to no Scientology. Otherwise, there would have been no coming to Master Farad Muhammad. Now, in the very beginning of this, uh, about four videos ago, uh, my mission was to explain why Sadie and Farrakhan and, Pol and uh, the rest of them brothers, Polite, whatever, stop teaching you about the origin of, of the white man because uh, the teachers goes into the origin of the black man, the origin of God, see. And that's pure science. That's not no hocus pocus. It's just science. Because the evidence of who you are is in you. Your DNA, your uh, atoms, the atoms that's in you. You know, you're made up of atoms. Just like everything is made around us made up of atoms. But it's a code that brings humans into existence, you know. And uh, that code is the language of a supreme being, you know, of a supreme existence. And you are a part of that, a chip off the old block. So we're supposed to wake up at a certain time. And uh, we, we, we went back to sleep too many times. Uh, we're back to sleep again. But this is the time, this is called the judgment time in the war of Armageddon. And if you want to come out of, and you want your, your uh, children to come out of it, you better wake up. Or you, your whole bloodline will be out of existence. Just like there are many nations that once was, you know, many empires that once was here, individually or family-wise, or tribe-wise, nation-wise, you can go out of existence. But you got to think a certain way, but most importantly, you got to think to be righteous. And just remember that these brothers is your enemy. Because God didn't he didn't, he didn't operate on money. He just thought something. He said be and there it was. Now can we get back to that? This is black light.